section on page 61 where we continue with the ideas of the development of the atom. So if we think back to the beginning, like with John Dalton, we see that the atom was just described as a solid sphere. And then we move on to J.J. Thompson, who is given credit for discovering the electron, and we have the plum pudding model positive negatives distributed throughout the atom. And then from there, we had Rutherford gold foil experiment where he collects the data to prove that the atom has the positive charge and it's in the center and the electrons are somewhere outside of it. Then we move on to Niels Bohr who worked on the gold foil experiment with Rutherford. You have your positive nucleus, most of the mass, but those electrons circle the nucleus in those seven energy levels. So we have a planetary model. And then we get to our most modern model as it's still recognized today. So the most modern model comes into existence because even Bohr, who came up with the seven energy levels, the electrons circle the nucleus in those fixed paths, knew that there were some anomalies and things that could not be explained. He realized that there was more to it, but the next development wasn't able to um, be made until quantum mechanics um, was being used and practiced. So the most modern model proposes that electrons do not travel around the nucleus in those circles, in those fixed paths, but electrons exist in what we call orbitals. And an orbital is specifically defined as the most probable location of finding an electron in that electron in that energy level or electron shell. So instead of picturing those energy levels as fixed paths, like a track going around a football field, think about the energy level, each energy level more as like a house. So I'm going to draw a little picture of a house. Now, if you, so if you are in a house, you know that there are different rooms. So if somebody is sleeping, then what would be the most probable location you would expect to find a sleeping person in their house? The most probable location of finding a person sleeping in their house would be that orbital. You would, you would expect to find them in a bedroom. So orbitals is like that specific region or room in a house where we would expect to find an electron. Now, an orbital based on the quantum mechanics model, any orbital, no matter what room in the house it's in, it can hold a max of two electrons. This most modern theory or evolution of the atomic theory is usually referred to as the wave mechanical model. And it is also referred to as the electron cloud model. So we go from solid sphere, plum pudding, nuclear, seven energy levels, to orbitals. Make sure you know the order of the development of the history of the atomic structure.